Hi everyone, I'm Mercedes and thanks for joining me for part two. Well, by this time you have your five pieces of uh, fabric scraps already cut out. Now don't get nervous because of the curling. We want this for the rows. That's what happens with the raw edges. You're going to place your second layer on top of the first layer and use this uh, indentation that's created in between the petals as the guide. The third layer is going to sit in between the indentation of the second layer and you're going to continue doing this until the five pieces of fabric are sitting on top of each other. Okay? You're going to take your sewing needle now take these five layers in one hand and you're going to make a long basting stitch in a circle pattern leaving a long tail on one side. Continue to rotate the five layers in your hand and continue to make that basting stitch. You'll most likely have about four or five stitches. Just make sure that the thread is nicely pulled through. I'm going to put this to the side because we have one that's finished and again you're going to have these long tails. Now why is that? You're going to take the two tails and try to uh, make an indentation with your finger as a guide and make a simple knot. Now don't make a tight knot in the beginning because you are going to have to readjust these petals until you're satisfied with the fullness and of course you're going to have to keep making uh, knots until uh, the flower actually curls. Now here's one that's already finished and let me flip this over because this is the finishing part of the rose. Once you do the indentation you're going to get this button like here. You're going to take the same hand sewing needle and this one is already done for time's sake but you're going to baste stitch around the button here. Now once that's done leave those long uh, tails again make another knot and your deconstructed rose is complete. Thanks again for joining me and I hope you join me again at www.m721organics.com for some more recycling projects. Take care. We'll see you soon.